Hi guys and welcome to practice number 7 in the course. In this practice, you will perform role transition procedures, switch over and fail over, in a data guard environment that is managed by the broker. The specifications of your data guard implementation in this practice are the same as the specifications of the data guard configuration that we configured in practice number 3. In this practice, we will work on the appliances that we created in practice number 3. I recommend you make a copy of the folder that contains the appliances and work on the copy. After getting the appliances ready, you will perform the switch over procedure using the broker. After that, you will mimic a primary database disaster and perform the failover procedure. Finally, you will reinstate the failed primary database. To make the environment ready for this practice, make a copy of the folder that contains the appliances of practice number 3. Give the new folder a name like practice 7 role transition. Open the appliances in virtual box. Start up the databases in the appliances. As always, make two putty sessions, one to the primary database and one to the standby database. Verify that the broker configuration is enabled and the status of the databases are success. On both databases, create a flashback database guaranteed restore point, GRP. GRP will be so helpful to save your day in case the switch over failed. Start the apply process. You need to make a static registration of the databases in their listeners. You have already done that for the standby database in practice number 3. You need to do the same now for the primary database. When you make changes in the listener.ora file, do not copy paste from the PDF file. Copy the code from the listener.ora file attached to the lecture downloadable files or change the code manually in the file. You are now ready to carry out the steps 
that you should do before you start with switching over. First, verify that the standby database has received all the redo data. In my case, the current redo sequence number in the primary database is 515. The MRP process in the standby database is also processing redo of sequence number 515. Verify that the MRP process status is applying log. Actually, we run the same query in the previous step, but it doesn't harm to run it again just to check its status. Start three putty sessions. Two to monitor the alert log files of the two databases and one to monitor the broker log file. We are now ready to do the magic and perform the switch over. First, you validate the database in the dgmgrl command line. The target of this command is to make sure that the databases are ready for the switch over. You can see from the output that both databases are ready. Also, you can observe the related property setting values. You can issue the switch over command now. You can have a look at the monitoring sessions. You will notice all the commands that are executed by the broker in both databases. If everything goes well, you will eventually receive a message stating that the switch over succeeded and that the new primary database is AuraDB underscore S2. Let's verify the changes in the configuration after the switch over. AuraDB underscore S2 is now the primary database, and AuraDB is the new standby database. Connect to both databases as non-sys user. You should not be able to connect to AuraDB now because it is running in mount state. Switch over back to AuraDB database and verify the configuration after that. Again, you can watch the monitoring sessions while the switch over is going on.
After you finish the switch over, you should drop the GRP that you created in the beginning of the switch over. If you don't do that, the flashback log files will keep accumulating till you run out of free disk space in your system. You performed the switch over procedure. It's time to try the failover. As you know, failover is a procedure that you do when some failure takes place in the primary database. So you need to mimic a primary database failure. The easiest way to do that is to abort the database. Connect as sysdba and abort the database instance. It's a good idea to show the DB unique name parameter so that you make sure you're shutting down the right database. Connect to the standby database via DGMGRL and start the failover. When the command is finished, the ORADB underscore S2 database is open for read-write operations, and it is the new primary database of your environment. When you execute the show configuration command, you will notice that the ORADB underscore S2 is now the primary database and the ORADB database needs to be reinstated. Test the connection as normal user to the new primary database. The last stage in our practice is to test the reinstate. You do that when the old primary database becomes available after a successful failover. Let's bring the old primary database back up again. Reinstate the database using the broker command line. You need to connect to the Aura DB underscore S2 database, not Aura DB. Verify the configuration after the reinstate is done. After you finish the practice, it is not a bad idea to try to switch over the primary role back to OraDB database. Let's try that now. As 
as you saw a single switch over command in the broker has done the job perfectly let's see what the show configuration command will report for us the command reports error for the standby database do not panic the broker is still unaware about the change just wait for a few seconds and try the command again eventually it will report that everything is going fine that's it for this practice you have performed a switch over fail over and database reinstatement using the broker shutting down the system must be a piece of cake for you now thanks for staying with me and see you in the next lecture bye bye